It's considered one of the best ways to prevent the spread of COVID-19, but contact tracing is not working in Mecklenburg County. It's a story we worked on with Charlotte Journalism Collaborative. The health director told the defenders Nate Morbido she's not convinced it's the best use of resources. Health department investigators are trying to do old school detective work, calling hundreds of people every day, people who tested positive for COVID-19 or are likely exposed, urging them to voluntarily quarantine. But they can't make them stay home, just like they can't make them answer the phone call in the first place, listen, or be honest. It's quite frightening. Rick Winokur spent the weekend at the ER with complications from a recent bout with COVID-19. My experience on that, I'm grateful to be alive. Just one of many frustrating moments in his coronavirus journey. My own anecdotal experience left me a little shaken in terms of how vigorous the county is being in its uh, tracing efforts. Another, the fact it took Mecklenburg County case investigators almost two weeks after he tested positive to call him. It's one thing saying you're doing efforts at tracing. It's another uh, of being actually good at it. While he wanted to talk to the health department about his experience and contacts, others aren't as eager. They're hanging up on staff sometimes, not answering the telephone. And there have been occasions when staff have been yelled at. Um, because people are tired of this. Health Director Gibby Harris is frustrated by the lack of community cooperation. I'm also concerned about how much time and energy we're spending trying to contact people. She says those who are COVID positive and willing to talk about it are sharing the names of fewer and fewer contacts. Whether it's try they're trying to protect their friends or whether they don't want um, their place of work to be heard or whatever it happens to be. The number of contacts is shrinking. Mecklenburg County has long used case investigation and contact tracing to effectively prevent the spread of tuberculosis, HIV, and sexually transmitted diseases. Diseases with far fewer cases, meaning if you can't get in touch with them, you can go out and find them and then issue a mandatory isolation or quarantine order. With coronavirus, there are too many cases, along with limited community cooperation and no real enforcement. We're hearing people who say, thank you for the information, but I've got to work. At the recommendation of the CDC and state, Mecklenburg County stopped issuing mandatory isolation and quarantine orders early in the pandemic. As people like Rick Winokur continue to deal with the long-term impacts of COVID-19, Harris says something has to give. Whether we either slow down on the contact tracing or whether we get we crack down on the enforcement. Um, there's two different ways you could go with that, I think. We could copy other countries, but it would come at a cost to our privacy. South Korea uses cell phone and credit card data as well as surveillance video to track and then trace COVID-19 patients and then shares that information with the public. A little bit closer to home, it's well documented. Patterson, New Jersey has had great success identifying a large percentage of its COVID-19 patient population and then isolating them without those privacy concerns. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte.